Hello, my name is Rick. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to play this lick uh, better if you don't know how to play it. So I think there's about four things here that my students usually struggle with with this lick. And it's interesting because I've had guitar players that could like shred up a storm and do some amazing things, but they had trouble with this lick. So, uh, so first of all, I'll break it down. I'm going to play it slow also so you can kind of hear the, the clarity of the notes just uh, before we jump in. So so the first thing is you're bending the seventh fret on the G string here um, up a whole step. So you want to get this D note to sound like this E. So do the best you can there. Just work on your whole step bends right there. By the way, this is uh, in the key of, uh, it's like an A minor pentatonic scale, so. So you're gonna work on that bend there. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing I think is probably the most important. It's where you're gonna kind of mute the strings to get the clarity going to the second note. So going from here, the bend, to the next note, which is the fifth fret on the B string. I find a lot of people have a lot of trouble there. They get some weird, like, weird noises, and I'm not even gonna try to <laughs> make it sound bad right now. So, um, but what you wanna do is two things that I, I think help the most. Uh, one is uh, with your right hand, and one is with your left. With your right hand, you're gonna do kind of a unique thing. The edge of your thumb here can actually dampen out the G string on the way to the B. So if I do this really slow here, bend the note, and then right when you go to hit this B string here, you're actually you're actually canceling out the G as you're simultaneously <laughs> hitting the B here. So you're going and then right kind of stopping, you hit that note. And then right there your thumb is gonna do that. Of course you're holding your pick still, but you're like you're landing on the G and kind of the B, it's a simultaneous thing. So it's good to kind of look down at your hand and you'll see that if your thumb is flush, you know, on the strings here like this, um, as you're picking the second string, you should be able to dampen out the, the G string. So that would actually do it alone if you did that. You could actually cancel out that G string from doing that kind of thing is what you often hear. Yeah. So the other thing is a little more obvious, I would say, is you can, uh, with the edge of your index finger here, uh, you're going to have it bump into the G string right here. So it's, you're, it's gonna play this note here, the fifth fret on the B string, but you're actually gonna dampen out that G. So if you go, so when you bend it, it's, it's weird to do it slow, but, and then right, there, it should cancel it out. Now I'm probably doing it here too because it's out of habit, but uh, but that's what you should be able to do right there is, you know, let's say here's your G string. See, you can cancel it out. Uh, that's a super cool thing. That's, uh, I think, a great thing to learn how to do with like, say, power chords too, if you're playing power chords. And often beginners wonder how if you play a power chord, um, let's say on the A and the D strings, they wonder how you don't get that low E. Uh, ringing out and basically the same idea you take your first finger here just bump into the sixth string so same thing here basically so if you already know how to do that that's why i thought i would mention that too if you know how to do that then you can apply it here also so but if you do that and you do this then you should be good and then here's kind of a cool um a way to practice it, I think, is think of the Chuck Berry, the duck walk part, part uh, when he's doing uh, Johnny Be Good. The... So you can practice that, really that distinction of going from this note, the bent note, to that note. So yeah, that's the second most important thing. Um, dampening that out. So you get your bend, whole step bend, doing that dampening. Uh, I would say the next thing is the uh, well. Let's get the last. Let's get the last note here. So <laughs> it's pretty easy. Uh, fifth fret on the high E, and then you're gonna bar those two notes. By the way, so you're bending that, and then you're barring these two. So I would.
would say the timing uh, is super important. Uh, it's a triplet. Triple lip, triple lip, so. You could change it later, of course, you could like, you know, that's great too. Uh, but if you hadn't worked on triplets, and specifically with this lick, uh, that's what I would do, so. That's the third thing. And then the fourth thing is a picking thing. Uh, I think the best way to pick it is probably down, down, up. So you're going up on the first string. The reason being there is that you want to go up on the first string because your pick is going back towards the low uh, or, or towards the G, which is the low, <laughs> the lowest note in this case. So. Uh, so yeah, I think that's the best thing to do is to practice those four things: the bend, make sure. Practice your bends. Uh, work on the two dampening techniques, one with the right hand, one with the left hand. Work on your triplets. Triple, triple, triple. And then also the, uh, the right hand. So yeah, take that lick and... Yeah, it's a great lick, classic lick. Uh, so have fun with it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, that would be fantastic. Uh, and if you want to give the video a like, that would be equally super duper cool and appreciated. Thanks a lot. See you next time.